Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you a little bit late here, a few minutes late. Sorry, guys. Whew, crazy morning. Busy evening last night, and I didn't sleep well. Um, I think it's probably because I was so excited after Scrapbook Club last night. <laughs> I just tried to go to bed, and I was like, my brain was just going. Um, that's what happens when you get into crafting in the evening, right? Sometimes your brain just doesn't know when to shut off. <laughs> and that's what happened to me last night during Scrapbook Club. So I had a, a yucky sleep, but that's okay. Tonight I'll go to bed earlier and catch up. How are you doing? Are you with me today? I'd love to know if you're here. Say hi. Leave me a note in the comments. Hi, Pam. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Annika. Good morning. Good morning. I love to join you here. Oh, thank you for sharing, Tony. Hi, Rebecca. Hello, Darby. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, trying to see your comments here. Okay, so we are, what is today? Wednesday, the 29th of May. So we have three days, you guys. We have today, tomorrow, and Friday to, to get that starter kit, right? So if you're on the fence, let me help you with that. Today at 3 o'clock Mountain Time, I'm going live on Zoom. Now, if you want to be a part of it, if you're Canadian, you're over 18, and you're not with another paper crafting company, you can message me. You can leave me a message right here. Drop a message in the comment section. Send me an email. Um, I will give you the form to fill out so that I have your correct email address and I can send you the Zoom link. So that's today. Every question that you ask gets your name in the draw for a prize that I do at the end of the video. It's called I Love Stamping Event. And it's only going to run for an hour. We meet promptly at 3 on the Zoom call and I'll answer all your questions if you have any questions about being a demonstrator. All right, let's get started here. I've got lots to get done before my meeting tonight, today, <laughs> but it's okay. It's all good. All right, so um, what am I doing today? Take it to the sky. <laughs> okay, so we're playing with take it to the sky. Sweet. It is amazing. I've seen a lot of your feedback. You guys love it too. We were talking about it at Scrapbook Club last night. This is going to be my scrapbook feature for June as well in my scrapbook club. So I'm super excited to do two layouts. That's four 12 by 12 pages of scrapbooking. So if you're interested in joining my scrapbook club, reach out to me and I'll add you in and I can get those pages prepped and sent off to you. We meet the last Tuesday of the month on Zoom. It's so fun. Um, so that's, uh, for Canadians, of course, uh, I can only sell my, my card kits and do my Clark, uh, car no, let's try that again. I can only sell, not sell my scrapbook club kits. My scrapbook club kits are free when you're a member of my club. Okay. So when you're a member of the club, it's, it's a minimum $60 order every month and you get these pieces, the, the packages to be able to put these layouts together. So I'm super excited. And I know some of you are waiting for my PDFs. I am going to be selling them starting in June. You can get them and I'm going to be go also offering some of my past ones. So stay tuned for that. You'll hear me talking about that as it's available. I know you, some of you have been waiting for <laughs> a while for this one, but scrapbooking is such a near and dear to my, my heart. I absolutely love scrapbooking. And last night we did some fantastic pages using the Country Woods Suite. We did four pages. I can share those with you. I still have two left. No, sorry, one left because I had another lady join my club. I have one kit left for the May Scrapbook Club. So I also have some kits left for the Technique Club. I should do a separate video and showcase the, the, the kits that I have left, right? Maybe that would be helpful. Okay, let's flip the camera and get started. I'm probably missing some of your comments here. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> ha. Hello, Colleen. Hi, Janet. Hi, Donna. Hello, Marie. Morning, Rose from a... Good morning, Rose from sunny Montreal. Yes. Yes, yesterday's meeting went very well. Uh, thank you for asking. Yes, it was very good. Just um, tiring, right? Even, you know what they say, even good stress is still stress, right? So even though I was excited and couldn't wait to meet with the ladies and, you know, I do the class twice. I do it from 4 to 5.30 and then I have supper with my family and then I do the class again from 7 to 8.30 and we went till about 9 last night. So, you know, it's a long day because I'm in my room at 5 in the morning and we went till 9 last night. So <laughs> that's probably why I'm a little bit fried this morning. 
Um, that's a big word. No, I'm not fried. I'm just tired. <laughs> But I've got coffee, so there's always that, right? All right, here we go. We're going to flip the camera, and um, feel free to share my video. Give me some love. Give me some likes. Talk to me. I love it when you interact with me on these videos. Okay, here we go. I'm going to flip the camera. <laughs> I see your love and your likes. Thank, God. Thank you, guys. Okay, beautiful day here in Calgary. It's going to be sunny today, which is nice. I'm wearing my, my dress today. Love summer. Love nice weather so we can wear your dresses and just be nice and summery. Okay, let's straighten all this up. Okay, there is my host code for the week. If you like what you see, um, you can place an order here in Canada with me from May 27th till Sunday, June 2nd. I close that host code on midnight on Sunday. And then on Monday, we prep up all the kits for people who have placed orders with the code. So that is my gift to you for shopping with me. Now I've got my paper trimmer here. Um, and I'm going to just show you how to cut this. Hi, Linda. Hello, Mary. <laughs> Mary says she ordered kit. Oh, um, all right. Perfect. So you must have placed an order in my online store to get this kit. That's awesome. Thank you, Mary. Hi, Barb. Hello, hello from Saskatchewan. Hi, Debbie from Illinois. Hello, Sherry. Thank you so much from Murphy, North Carolina. Thank you for watching. Can you join if you're already a demonstrator? Absolutely, Betty. Every, anyone can join. If you're a demonstrator, you just have to use my host code that I provide. We have a private Facebook group. And um, you place an order like any other customer. So um, it's not your, you don't get your demonstrator discount on orders that come through me. It is my cost for doing the class. So you can, you can absolutely be in the club if you're a demonstrator. In fact, I have lots of demonstrators, uh, join my clubs and my classes. So yep, if you're in Canada, you can be in my club. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. We're going to bring in, what do I have here? Smoky Slate, Smoky Slate. Um... That is not possible. Inika, yes, it's definitely possible to join if you're a demonstrator. You can join, I think she was referring to my scrapbook club. If you mean join as a demonstrator, um, that or maybe you're talking about, I don't know, I missed the question, guys. Maybe I misinterpreted it. But if you're talking about my video today for my Zoom call, that is for people who are not demonstrators. This is a demonstrator. The Zoom call today is for people who want more information about the opportunity. So can't I don't know what you were referring to, but maybe you can clarify in the comments. Um, yes, Carla. Yes, I'm going to open my online scrapbook training to PDF buyers. Absolutely. Yep. And Elaine is interested in the scrapbook kits. Okay, Elaine, I'll get back to you. Thank you so much. All right, let's get started. Thank you so much. Um, yes, Marie, I'm sending you all the information on my Technique Club. I'm going to get that kit in the mail to you today. I got lots of things on my list today, and you are one of them, my friend. <laughs> okay, um, yay for coffee, Angela says. I don't know what I would do without it, and today is going to be one of those days. Hi, Joyce from Calgary. <laughs> Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. It's good morning to you. All right. Yay, your starter kit came. Woohoo, Elaine, that's so exciting. <laughs> Love hearing from people getting their starter kits. Such a great day when that kit arrives, right? Unpacking this afternoon. So exciting, Pat. Yep, absolutely. All right, here we go. Yeah, you're interested in the Zoom. Yeah, Betty, it's only for people who are not demonstrators yet to give them more information about being a demonstrator. If you're already a demonstrator, you already have all that information. You already know all the good things. Okay, let's start this card. We have a piece here of um, Smoky Slate, and I've cut it down the long side, and it's at four and a quarter. So four and a quarter by 11, I'm gonna bring it in, and I'm going to score it at five and a half in the middle. And then I'm gonna take that score line, and I'm gonna slide it over to the one inch mark, like that. I'm just making two score lines here in the middle, like that. And then we're gonna fold in half, and I want to share some, uh, some cutting tips with you guys. I had my little um, charcuterie board <laughs> ready here. I call it the charcuterie board. Yesterday I called it a bento box. You could call it whatever you want. But I love, love, love this 
this little tool, this silicone mat. I have all my pre-cut pieces in there. So I'm only going to need one of these Night of Navy strips. This designer series paper, I need one. And then I've got these little squares here that I want to explain to you. Well, they're more rectangles than squares. I'm going to explain to you how I came up with this um, layout for this card. So what we're going to do is bring in my bone folder here. We're going to score these lines. So score the middle. And then you guessed it, we're folding back on this one. It's going to be a book bind fold. So let's close that up. I'll grab my glue and we'll put our glue inside. Once the glue starts to decide it wants to wake up. <laughs> All right, so the glue is already ready, woken up. Yeah, I've been using it since 5 a.m. I've designed a couple of cards already, so my glue is already woke. <laughs> Okay, so this piece is going right here. And remember, you're gonna get all the designer series paper pieces cut for you in my kits this, this week. Okay, we need two pieces of basic white, one for the front and one for the inside. Okay, so here's the first piece. Now, what I wanna show you is I wanted to uh, design a card for you today that shows lots of the designer series paper. So on Monday, I was, I was showing you all of the patterns in the Take It to the Sky 12 by 12 designer series paper. Um, and if you're wondering where this is in the catalog, it's on page 36 and 37. So here's a look at all of the patterns. So, so amazing, these patterns. And I couldn't decide which one to use. And I'm like, I'm actually gonna use a few of these. So I wanted to do a design where I put rectangles at the bottom of this piece of white, but I wanted them to be all the same size and I wanted them to be equally spaced. And I, and I was, I was having a challenge with that this morning. So I thought, okay, I'm going to get my post-its out, my handy dandy post-it notes. And I took three of my post-it notes and I was looking at this measurement here and it's four and a quarter wide. So I want to do five because odd number, right? I wanted to do five pieces and I, I was thinking, okay, let's do three quarters of an inch. Will that work? So instead of cutting your paper and experimenting and wasting, just take some post-it notes, pop it into your trimmer. And I'm going to line this up at the three quarter inch mark like this. I'm going to cut. So I've got some three quarter inch pieces here. And how many do I have? Three. So let's do that again with the other piece. I just want to share this tip with you because if you're ever wondering, oh, will that work? You know, instead of wasting your beautiful paper, you can just use a post-it note and trial things, trial, do a little trial run. So I've got these post-it notes and here's what I did. I took them and I was like, okay, I want to put five pieces. So I'm gonna put one here and then I always go to the other side. I put one over here. And then I, I'm figuring out how much of that white border I want to be showing. So it's about 1 16th of an inch probably. I can't get this one straight. Let's do that again. Like that. This is how I was just playing around. And I thought, oh, maybe my viewers might like to know how I do this, like how I set this up. Um, and then I put one right here and I left that little border. I'm trying to make it even. And then I take my other post-it note and I come over here. I'm not worried about the height so much because I know I'm going to be able to get them all close in height, but I want to make sure I can fit five of these. And then my fifth one, I'm going to put in the middle. So, and then you can see, oh, okay. So you do need, I, I need it. This gave me some information that I need to make my spaces a little bit bigger. So then I can push this one over and you guys get the gist, right? So then you can even this up and then you can use this as a guide when you're doing your real piece, right? When you're doing the real one that you're gonna use on your card. So, and again, I'm just using post-it notes. So I'm gonna leave that over here as my little reference, um, but I do have the equal size piece for the inside. So what we're gonna do is bring in our designer series paper. So then I went and I cut all of my designer series paper pieces to be three quarters of an inch by one inch. Okay, so you're gonna get all of these in your kit. You don't need to worry about cutting them but I just wanted to share with you my process. So we're going to grab some patterns from some random patterns. Anything goes, that's the beauty of the Stampin' Up! Designer Series paper. Everything matches, right? So I'm gonna put them on my silicone mat here. I've got 
Let's see, we've got the pecan pie, no, sorry, copper clay <laughs> pattern. And then we're gonna use that one again and do the uh, blue pattern. Then I'm gonna grab this one, the mossy meadow. And then the flip side of that one has the Knight of Navy. And last but not least, I thought I would bring in a smoky slot, smoky, <laughs> smoky slate pattern. Okay, so there's my, my rectangles. Let's go ahead and get the glue on. So we're just gonna go ahead and I like to do everything in batches. I'm putting all my glue on at the same time so that it's ready to go and then I can just have fun placing everything where it goes. All right, so there's that. So now, if you don't wanna touch these little squares and get your fingers dirty, you can grab your take your pick tool and pick them up. It helps. And then I'm just going to carefully place them in their spots. So I'm gonna put the copper clay one right there. And then I'm gonna go on the other side and grab my smoky slate. We're gonna put this one right over here, like that. And then let's see, we'll grab the blue, the Knight of Navy blue, and we'll leave a, a little gap there. And we'll come on this side. And where's that navy one? Okay, this is the one I wanted. I wanted the navy pattern here and put that right here and then last but not least we'll bring in that little pop of mossy meadow like such small little pieces but you can do so much with them and you do get a little bit of wiggle room with the glue so you want to be kind of prompt when you're doing this and don't worry if the top is not real even because you can always we're going to use a piece of cardstock to cover that so I'm pretty happy with that so I'm going to use my silicone mat and put that on here. So I'm going to send you a little, these strips. These are one quarter inch wide and tall, I guess you'd say, and then um, four and a quarter inch wide. So then what we can do is I'm actually going to put a line of glue at the top of all of these little squares. Get that glue flowing. Just do that. Put a little bit there. I find it easier to do that and then put it on this little skinny piece. So here we go. We're going to put this in place and then that will cover up any little, um, you know, mistakes, I guess, or gaps or whatever. So isn't that a fun way to add little pieces of designer series paper to your cardstock? So this was my, just my little sample here. So we'll go ahead and remove those post-its because this is my inside piece. So let's do some stamping. All right. So for the front, we're going to stamp um, some clouds up in the sky. So I've got boho blue. And from the stamp set, we're going to bring in the big clouds and we'll tap, tap, tap on here. And we'll do a couple of those across the top here. So we'll do one right there and then we'll go back and get more ink and we'll do one over here. All right. So that's good for the front. Um, I do want to do my greeting down here. So for my greeting, I'm going to bring in Knight of Navy and we're going to stamp flying by to say hi. So I'm gonna stamp that right down here. Boom, like that. And then we'll go ahead. Can I stick this on? Yes, I can stick this onto my card base now. I'm not gonna need to do anything else with it. So easy peasy, that's gonna go down onto the card front. All right, so there's my glue and we'll pop that right on top. And then we'll get to the fun stuff. We're gonna make one of those really super cool planes. Okay, so there's that. Move this off to the side. Now my inside, I want to stamp the clouds again. Just do that continuous to um, have the flow of the card, right? So we've got clouds on the front. Let's do clouds on the inside too. Oh, I wanna make sure that I've got it the right way here. Is it four? It, Cause it's four by four and a quarter. So you're gonna need to remember this as well when you get your um, pieces, yeah, four and a quarter. So make sure that the four and a quarter is the length. Okay, and there we go. So we've got clouds up top. Then we're gonna bring in from the stamp set, this is the stamp set I'm using. I, I'm using these clouds. And then I wanna say, you always lift me up. I think that's a great one. You can send this to anyone, right? A, a good friend, you always lift me up. You know the people in your life that always lift you up. The, this is who you would want to send this card to. Flying by to say, hi, you always lift me up. And you know, I'm, I pretty much guarantee if you send this card to someone, you're going to lift them up, right? <laughs> 
Okay, and then I'm gonna bring in my medium plane here and we're gonna stamp that plane down here in the corner. And there we have the inside. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. And this is a quick and easy card. I mean, all your pieces are gonna be cut, so you're gonna be able to whip this one up in no time. So let's go ahead and add that to the inside. Got a little bit of extra ink there. I think I got ink on my thumb. Yikes. Okay, well, we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> the purpose of my video is to show you how to put the card together, and I also tend to sprinkle in some little what not to do's, and I've got some fingerprints on my card, but we're gonna go with it because it's handmade. It's not supposed to be perfect, but I try my best. <laughs> okay, so there's the card. Now to do, we're gonna do some die cutting today. Some fun die cutting, not much, just a couple of little dies. And what we we've got is, uh, let's grab my my dies here. So the dies to make a plane are super cool, you guys. We've got the body of the plane, which is the solid one right here. And we're gonna cut that one using some of the boho blue. And then you've got this big die here that's gonna cut the accent for the plane. And we're gonna give you, we're gonna send you a piece of silver foil. It's gonna be a little longer than you need because we're gonna put the propellers on it too. So when you guys get your bundle, you're gonna have these dies and you're gonna be able to make this card. So you're gonna get the silver and the boho blue. And now we're gonna put these on to my machine. So let's bring in my machine now and we'll run these through and I'll show you how easy it is to cut them. All right, so here's my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Hi, Sandra McKee from Saskatoon. Thank you for being here. All right, let me grab the foil one down here. All right, so now I think I'm feeling kind of confident that this is not gonna move. I've given you a big enough piece of cardstock that, you know, it should be fine, but if you wanna put post-it note on top or some post-it note tape, you can totally do that. So we're running it through the machine. My glue tipped over. <laughs> and then let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we have here. Swipe it onto my desk and we've got our dies. Let's put them back so that we don't lose them. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so we've got the belly, or the body of the plane. Get my silicone mat here. I've got some extra pieces flying around. I got the body of the plane and the steel, the, the foil pieces. Now I've already got some extra ones in my little tray over here. So let's bring that in. Um, all right, get organized here. And I'm very much aware that I have ink on my silicone mat and that you guys have seen can be uh, a problem. So let's get the ink off that before it ends up on my card in a spot that I don't want it. So I'm just using my little baby wipe here to clean up my silicone mat. And then we will go ahead and tackle the little pieces. You can keep little pieces of foil for other small things. I mean, these little propellers are small, right? So don't throw away little bits of foil. Get a little plastic bag and put them in. You, you'll save a whole bunch by just holding on to your little scraps. Okay, so I'm just grabbing my take your pick tool. I'm gonna pop out these little bits here. Remember when I used the machine, I only went forward, I didn't go backwards. Um, I didn't wanna run the risk of my die moving on me. Sometimes the dies will jump on you. And then what'll happen is you'll just get a mishmash of silver paper. It's happened to me before. So I knew I didn't hold my die down with um, post-it note or anything. So to keep that in mind, if you're gonna just go forward, um, just go forward. Uh, if you've got your die secured down nicely, then you can go forward and back. Um, I've learned that the hard way. If you go forward and back and you don't have your die secure, it can just do a little scramble. <laughs> okay, so here's what we've got. We've got this die that's gonna fit right on top of the beautiful boho blue plane and but we don't wanna put glue everywhere because you don't need to put glue on the top wing. It's basically whatever's touching. So I'm just kind of placing it here and now I'm aware of where I need to put my glue. So 
I'm going to flip this over and bringing my liquid glue, I'm going to add glue to the rings of the tires, the front of the plane, the bottom down here along the edge, and that's all I'm going to do because it, it's going to be fine. It's going to be secure and you don't want to run the risk of adding extra glue because when the glue gets on the foil, it's not nice. It's not, it takes away the shine and you won't like the look of it. So I'm just taking this piece and I'm just laying it right on top of my glue and I'll just tap that down and see, I've even got extra glue on the bottom there. I'm going to wipe that off just so I don't have to deal with extra glue. <laughs> okay, let's flip this plane over and see what it looks like when it's assembled. Ah, look at that. Okay, so now there's another step. I want to put the little front propeller. I'm going to grab my glue, just put a little tiny dot, like little, little right there. And then I'm going to use my take your pick tool and pick up one of these front little propellers and lay that on there just like that. You can angle it if you like. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> and there's my plane. Done. Done, done, done. So easy, right? Two pieces and a propeller. You're done. Okay, so let's bring that in. Bring the card in and we're going to put this plane onto the card. And I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals because that little propeller needs to stay put because it's flying, so you can pop it up, right? So I'm gonna bring in both big and small dimensionals. I'm gonna put the big ones where I can fit the big ones, one on the uh, tail, one on the front, and one in the middle. And then just to secure it, I'm gonna use my small dimensionals, my minis. I'm gonna put one under each wheel. And I think I wanna put one up here on the top wing, just for good measure. There we go. All right, so now let's peel these off. Peel off all the backings and see how this looks on the card. All right, let's get all of this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. So then I'm gonna put my plane on the card and I'm gonna tilt it a little bit so he, the plane is taken off, going flying high to say, flying by to say hi. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness, I love this plane. And you know, it's not just for people who are in the airline industry. That's If you're looking at the planes and you're like, well, I don't know anybody who's a pilot. I don't know anybody who's into airplanes. This is, and it's not even just for masculine because I'm dying to make a Mellon Mambo and basic black plane. That's coming, you guys. You know it's coming. <laughs> but so planes are for anything, right? Like I was thinking for scrapbooking, you could do a layout for a trip. How many times have you gone on a trip and you've taken a picture out the window of the clouds, right? And then, you know, maybe you take pictures in the airport when you're going on a trip, something like that. You could do a scrapbook layout about a trip that you went on and a girl's trip. You could make pink planes, like so fun, right? Like there's a lot you can do with this suite and you don't necessarily have to use the blues and greens. You can make it whatever you want, right? So, oops, <laughs> let's fix that. So I hope I've inspired you. Uh, your husband was in the Air Force. This is perfect because he worked on the planes. Yes. So it is perfect. Like if you have those people in your life, like my brother-in-law is a is a, um, a mechanic with a Air Canada, uh, not Air Canada. Um, I can't remember the name of the company. He works for Morningstar Air. He fixes planes. He's, a, he's an aircraft mechanic. So, you know, Perfect. I, I have, I cannot wait to make my, my brother-in-law cards with this one. You know, my, my, my uncle who passed away was, he was a flight engineer in the Air Force. So, you know, his children, I know they love planes and his daughter is also married to a person in the Air Force. So there's a lot of different connections, right, to the Air Force and um, it doesn't have to be it can be anything. It can be masculine. I would send this one to my dad. I'm sure he would love it. <laughs> and go ahead and get yourself some more of that silver foil. It wasn't available for a long time, but we now have silver foil back. So get some silver foil and um, make it shiny um, and make it for whoever you like, right? I can't make, I can't wait to make some feminine plain cards. <laughs> All right. Thanks everyone for joining me today. Um, oh yeah, you like the post-it note tip? Yeah, use your post-it notes to kind of lay things out and then that way you don't waste your um, designer series paper if you're not quite sure how it's going to all work out, right? Especially with the math, like trying to figure out the measurements. 
cut your DSP, cut your post-it notes before you cut your DSP and um, then you're not wasting anything, only a couple pieces of post-it notes. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, you guys. Uh, thanks for your feedback, I love it. I hope you will join me if you're from Canada and you're 18 and you're not a demonstrator, you wanna know more information, join me at three o'clock today, Mountain Time. So that's Calgary time, Alberta time. Um, and I'd love to answer all your questions and put your name in the hat for my door prize. All right, take care everyone and we'll see you later. If not today, then tomorrow at nine. Bye-bye.